At here it's designed a new type of IP rated LED screen uh, specifically for this project. It was custom built and purpose manufactured. We have a full-time R&D department and a very skilled base in our in-house manufacturing facility. We had a very tight time frame to develop this product and get it into manufacturing. We had to meet manufacturing tolerances with construction tolerances. There are about 2.5 kilometres of LED lighting across the whole building with about 85,000 pixels and close to about 2.5 million LED individual components. A considerable amount of uh, design and engineering went into the R&D phase of the 888 Collins Street lighting project. At Herod's R&D team spent five days with the manufacturing engineers uh, in intensively uh, developing the project, um, everything from uh, electronic components to uh, board design. The learning was fed back directly to the design team to produce the uh, electronic and mechanical uh, design documentation for the project. Yeah, there were some major time constraints during this project. Uh, we had to contend with overseas suppliers, we had to contend with uh, short lead times and some very bespoke products. Uh, managing that in itself was quite an effort, yet uh, it came through well in the end. In this project there was quite a few different stakeholders that all had their, their own interest in this project. Our job was to try and make sure everyone was happy and confident with what we were delivering. A big factor was designed for safe installation and maintenance at height. The fixtures are going to be in an aggressive environment. We had to put a lot of time and effort into actually understanding how that was going to affect the materials and the finishes of the product. Looking forward to getting, getting these modules up on the building. We've already started putting some of the modules up and um, it's, at the moment it's looking great. Can't wait to see the project finished and um, the final result. We're going to start to see uh, installations like this um, more and more in, in the, the Melbourne uh, landscape, definitely. It's starting to be accepted uh, more and more by local governments and councils um, and a lot of design and architecture engineers are, are looking at, at, at ways of uh, making the building stand out and become part of the, uh, the landscape of Melbourne.